Hello everyone, my name is Rakshmi Chaudhary and today I am going to perform a virtual lab experiment on resistivity of semiconductor by 4 probe method under the guidance of Dr. Dean Ma. Now let us start. First we will go to the browser, search vlab. Then we will go to the virtual lab. And select physical sciences. As you can see, there are a lot of lab available, but right now we are focusing on solid state physics virtual lab. This is a virtual lab of Amrita Vishwa Vidyapeet. So the experiment which we are going to perform is the resistivity by four probe method. As you can see, there are a lot of options available like theory, procedure, self-evaluation, simulator, assignment, reference and feedback. Okay, so the aim is to determine the resistivity of semiconductors by four probe method. Now, the apparatus. The experimental setup consists of probe arrangement. They are arranged linearly in a straight line at equal distance S from each other. I'll explain the connections later. Sample of selected material which is millimeter size and having a thickness W. An oven. This is an oven. So it is provided with a heater to heat the sample so that the behavior of the sample is studied with increase in temperature. Constant current generator, oven power supply and digital panel meter measuring voltage and current. So the next is theory. I'll try to explain it in short. Uh, okay, so now to measure resistivity, first we have to find resistance. And as we know, we can find the resistance by using voltmeter ammeter method. Just measure the voltage across the resistance and current. We get V by I is equal to R. And now that we have resistance value, we can calculate resistivity, which is equal to R A by L. Now this is the one way to find resistivity. We can find resistivity by many methods. Particularly in this experiment, we are going to use the specific formula that is resistivity is equal to rho naught upon function of W by S where this function depends on the value of W and S where W is thickness and S is spacing between the probes. Now we have two important concepts to focus on. The first one is the basic principle of four probe method. As you can see in this figure, we, there are four points connected on the semiconductor. The outer two parts are connected to a constant current source and the inner two terminals are connected to a voltmeter. Across terminal 2 and 3, a voltmeter is connected. If we connect a ammeter to this terminal, contact resistance is also measured whose value is very high and resistance across terminal is very low. So because of this contact resistance, error specific camp is observed. Therefore, we use four terminals. Okay, so if we didn't use four terminals, uh, contact resistance of ammeter connection, supply voltage, wire, all of this comes into the picture. So to get accurate reading, we use four terminals. And the second concept is the DC supply. Uh, in this, they haven't marked polarities, but in DC circuit, we should always show the polarities. And like, why not AC supply? Because V by R is equal to impedance. So, like this was all the theoretical part. Now, let us focus on the simulation. So, click on the simulator. So, here are a few things. This is by default germanium. We can change it, but in this experiment, let us take a sample as germanium. Range of current as 20 mA. You can also change the range of current. Uh, so, this shows the voltage. It shows the current and this shows the temperature and degree celsius but while calculating we need to convert into kelvin this is an oven and here is the set weight run measure buttons now current we need to keep the current constant throughout the experiment and let us take our current as 3 milliampere yes so now click on set and now let us take our temperature as 25 degrees celsius as it is and then we have to change the 200 millivolt and it shows the voltage. So this is what we need in our experiment. The temperature, the voltage and the current is constant. Here it shows the resistivity value uh, and we can also calculate it with the formula that is resistivity is equal to rho naught upon function of W by S. And uh, yeah, but uh, the problem is we cannot change the 
temperature directly from here for the other readings we need to reset it so i don't know why but you need to reset it so now let us take another example so keep the current as constant that is 3 set and let us take our temperature as 40 you can gradually increase it but i'll just show this two readings and then click on run so the temperature will slowly start increasing from 25 degrees celsius up to 40 degrees celsius and you can observe the changes here and then we'll have to wait till it reaches 40 So the final reading is eighty point three eight, and the resistivity is this. Okay, so here is my observation table. I have converted temperature into Kelvin, and these are the resistivity values that I have calculated. And this is the graph that I have plot uh, where temperature is along the x-axis and resistivity is along the y-axis. From the graph, we can conclude that as the temperature increases, the resistivity value of semiconductor decreases.